Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn English Grammar Effectively. We are doing the series of parts of speech and we have already started conjunction. So today we will continue with the same fanboys and we will do for and not today. So do watch, like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon. Okay, types of conjunctions. So there are three types and we are doing first one coordinating conjunction. Let's see the definition of coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions are used to link or join two words or phrases that are equally important and complete in terms of grammar. So, what is the role of conjunction in a sentence? To join two words or two phrases or two sentences together. So, the same way glue works. Glue join two parts together. So, same way conjunctions play a different role in sentences. Okay, fanboys. F stands for for, A for and, N for not, B for but, O for or, Y for yet, and S for so. So you have to remember all these fanboys. So today we will see for and not. Let's start with for. For shows purpose or reason in a sentence. Let's see the examples. First, I told her to leave for I was very tired. So here in the sense of reason it is used. I told her to leave. Why? For I was very tired. Second, I am going for some breakfast. I am really hungry. So here in the sense of purpose, this for is used. Third, I wear these old trousers for painting. So here for is used as purpose. Fourth one, I go to the library for I love to read. Here two sentences are joined with for to show the reason. Fifth, we listen eagerly for he brought news of our family. So here for is used as reason to join two sentences together. Next, she must have been very hungry for she ate everything immediately. So here for is used as reason. Let's see second one, nor. Nor is used in negative statement. First, neither Mark nor Mary were at school yesterday. So here in negative sense, neither nor is used. Second, neither my friends nor my parents supported me. Negative statement or negative sentence. Third, I have neither done the dishes nor the laundry. So neither nor. So they are used here in negative statement to join two words. And they are negative. That's why. We can neither change nor improve it. Negative statement. The weather is mild today. It is neither hot nor cold. 
so here this is negative statement that is why neither nor is used six there was neither food nor drink let's do exercise join the sentences together by using for or no okay four sentences are mentioned and you have to join them together by using for or no your time starts now Let's check answers. First, he is overweight. He eats too many cakes and biscuits. So here, he is overweight. For he eats too many cakes and biscuits. So here, reason. That's why for will come. second raj cannot play football raj cannot play cricket so if you find this kind of two negative statements or sentences then what you have to do if they are similar raj and uh, this cannot and play okay so you have to write only once raj is given in the beginning then here cannot here it is given so you can use can raj can then put v1 form that is play so here not football not cricket in that sense it is is uh, it is given that's why you have to use neither nor for not so raj can play neither football nor cricket third the driver was not hurt the passengers were not hurt so here similar kind of statement is given negative that's why here we will use neither not neither the driver nor the passengers were hurt last one he doesn't want to buy any chemical medicine they are very expensive and unhealthy so answer would be he doesn't want to buy any chemical medicine for they are very expensive and unhealthy here reason is given that's why here you have to use for so here we end our session hope you understood for and nor well in my next session you will see the same fan balls and we will continue with the same series the series of parts of speech till then keep watching keep liking keep sharing and keep subscribing bye for now